Hey guys, Mark here. Welcome. Today we're covering another wooden egg with a globe knot. We are going to tie our knot on a 4-pin globe knot mandrel. So the mandrel has a total of 4 columns of pins. Column 1, 2, 3, 4. And a total of 8 rows. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. The diameter of your mandrel should be about the same as the diameter of your core. We are next going to need an egg-shaped core. In my case, a wooden egg. For the cordage, we are going to be using two pieces of 95 cord. One strand, 23 feet long, the other strand, 9 feet long. The last item needed is going to be a lacing needle. Here is the pin setup for our mandrel. The outer three rows on either side of our mandrel are going to be filled out. So rows A, B, C, F, G, H. Rows D and E are going to be empty. In practice, rows A, B, C, and F, G, H are going to be filled out. Before we begin tying our globe knot, let's do our initial setup. Grab the longer out of your two cords, find the middle point. At the center point, Pick one half of your cord, coil it up. With our coil done, grab your working end feed it through the hole in our mandrel Attach a lacing needle onto your working end. So our mandrel, our coil, our working end. We are starting at A1. Here is the run list for tying our globe knot. Follow it line by line or follow along with me tying. We begin tying at A1. We move to H4. Then from H4 to B3. Passing over 1. From B3 we pass to F1. Again over 1. From F1 we move to C3. Passing under 1.
from C3 we move to G1. Going under 1. From G1 we move to A4. Going over to under 1. From A4, we pass to H3. Going over, under, over. From H3, we pass to B2, going under 2, over 2, under 1. From B2, we move to F4, traveling parallel to this strand here. From F4, we pass to C2, traveling parallel to this strand here. From C2, we pass to G4, splitting a pair of parallel strands. So travel between them and do the opposite. From G4, we pass to A3, again splitting a pair of parallel strands. So travel between them, doing the opposite. From A3, we pass to H2, traveling the opposite to this strand here.
from H2, we pass to B1. Starting under and traveling the opposite to this strand here. From B1, we pass to F3. Traveling parallel to this strand here. From F3, we pass to C1, traveling parallel to this strand here. From C1, we pass to G3, again splitting a pair of parallel strands. From G3, we pass to A2, splitting a pair of parallel strands. From A2, we pass to H1, traveling the opposite to this strand here. From H1, we pass to B4, 
traveling the opposite to this strand here, essentially splitting a pair of strands. From B4, we pass to F2, traveling parallel to this strand here. From F2, we pass to C4, traveling parallel to this strand here. From C4, we pass to G2, splitting a pair of parallel strands. We are now at our final pass. From G2 to A1. Again splitting a pair of parallel strands. Reaching A1, we place our working end next to the standing end like this. You can work your working end a bit deeper into the knot. Remove your lacing needle. Undo your coil. Pull your standing hand through here. Attach your lacing needle onto the standing hand. Then double up your knot, following your working hand in reverse through the entire knot, until the two ends meet up again.
after doubling up your knot so that the two ends meet, sink in your screws. Transfer the knot onto your core. Shape it up. Then begin tightening up. Start at one end. Pulling slack through the knot. Into the other end. I'm probably going to do at least two passes of tightening before I introduce my second cord. We now introduce a new color into our knot. So we have two passes in our knot, follow them on either side. So I have my two ends here, I'm going to start a bit deeper into my knot. Trim the ends and you are done. So guys, this concludes our tutorial on another style of a globe knot egg wrap. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in my future videos as well.